hello i'm i'm in the process of moving um so um everything has changed and actually this will be my last video before i uh, film in this apartment after i'm done all the uh, cars are gonna go into their uh, respective cases the packed the parking lot um the tripod as well as the mic everything is gonna go uh and um uh, that's why uh, it looks a bit different from my normal videos if my normal videos even have a uh, routine but I thought I'm gonna end this in a bang and not like the most exciting thing out there but it's still it's an old RLC car right um and this is the uh, 2009 RLC car the Neo version old 442 and this is an interesting casting because if you look up old 442 on uh, to how it was wiki you can find like 50,000 different models and this one specifically this one falls under the um 1971 um casting of the 1970 version of the um old 442 it's an interesting car it's a great looking car in my opinion but uh it's very different from some of the earlier castings and you can see how uh, this one comes with kind of like a taxi cab light or in this case it's done as a siren uh, in my opinion, it really should have its own page history in terms of casting because this is very, very, very different from the original casting. Or at the very least, like a different section of the same page. As such, it's a bit uh, confusing to find uh, any any info on this casting. I don't know. I think at least two different versions are made. I think the other one might be like a military uh, style or something. Uh, but this is pretty cool. You can see uh, all chrome silver on the sides. You can see um, security and um, Mattel Inc. toy makers, Al Segundo, Al Segundo um, California, which is where uh, Hot Wheels headquarters are, and um, Red Line Club. Okay, on the back, you can see it's a power dispatch, so it's uh, electricity, stuff like that. Sirens on top. This is again a um, Spectral Flame Red. Uh, in a lot of conditions, it looks like orange more than red, but it's nice. Um, and as you can see, uh, the paint is not super clean, which is a bit of a shame. These are produced, I think, 10,000 in total. I don't have my backing card anymore, but I think it's at 10,000. And you can see yeah, that the, the paint is a little disappointing, which is a bit of a shame, but this is like much cheaper than RLC cars are now um, going for anyway. And you can see the red line wheels. It's, it's nice having like a more retro style, or as this is called, um, uh, neo, neo classic style. It's pretty cool. Uh, but on the other hand, you can see the red lines are not painted, uh, are not centered perfectly either. No front back deco or back back deco, which is sh a shame. Uh, a little bit of a chipping on the front and the back. This uh, came new from the package. Uh, so it's, uh, it's on Hot Wheels or packaging or something. It's also very, very similar to a maxi taxi design, um, if not the exact same casting. So this is a bit confusing in my opinion. Hot Wheels. Also for two, trademark General Motors. You can see the original casting is 1969. Really? Or at least the original um, uh, trademark. Copy, the original copyright was 1969, or those three new for 2007. This uh, model itself came out in 2009. Mattel Inc. made in China. So it's an alright car, as you can see uh, next to the Johnny Lightning thing. Um, you can see the Johnny Lightning is just a bit more um, authentic, a bit more, um, well, closer to uh, the real car. It's a convertible and it's high, it actually has nice painted interiors. The uh, seats um, fully decked out. Front and back is a great looking car opening feature. So though you can't see too far into it, um, but the details are there and I think part of it, is, at least part of it is painted. Um, yeah, although I do think the um, the generation, this is a, the Hot Wheels is a 1970, the um, Oldsmobile is a 1972, I do think the uh, 1970 version is a bit cooler than the uh, 72 version, but as far as car models goes, um, I think obviously Johnny Lightning just does it better. Um, if you're, when you're paying for RLC, you're 
um, not really. Well, when you're paying for Hot Wheels, you're not paying for accuracy, you're paying for coolness, and I still think the um, RLC um, is cool for two. It's a cool car, uh, not very realistic, but cool. Uh, also, it doesn't, you can see uh, it's trying to turn right the whole time. That's because it does have suspension. This is like kind of following the uh, original Hot Wheels, and as such, you can see uh, the wheels are going to be split a little bit um, apart which is very common for these cars which is unfortunate but it does have suspension um, but the original Hot Wheels were designed to be super 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 fast and I don't think it has this thing wouldn't be going in a straight line I doubt it will be uh, killing the tracks which is a bit of a shame but still uh, I'm getting it for display and it's a cool car that's it for this video and uh, I'm gonna go pack again thank you for watching and goodbye